With the facilities that are here, the coaching, the setup, that everything is here. I think for uh, a young, a young student um, that wants to progress in their cricket and look to play maybe a higher standard county and, and obviously international level, I think this is definitely the place to be. It's brilliant, really. You can't really ask for anything better in the UK. I mean, we've got six huge nets, room for keepers. We've got sort of infinite bowling machines. And the fact you can come in sort of any day of the week and become a better cricketer is just fantastic, really. I think basically we get to use the ECB centre whenever we want, uh, at any times. Uh, just got to book it and come down. So in between lectures or whenever we're not doing other work, we can just come in and use bowling machines or come in for a net. It's good. Uh, I'm really their second to I think they're probably the best, best facility in the country, yeah, for, for cricket certainly. Yeah, ECB centre, uh, National Performance Centre, and then yeah, Power Base is excellent. You've got the National Swimming Pool as well on campus, and you've also got uh, various other support groups who, who are based there at Loughborough, so uh, excellent nutritionists, strength nutrition coaches. So yeah, the, the, all the facilities are amazing. Sort of see England boys around all the time, uh, first class facilities, six lanes, we can come in here when we want during the week one-on-one -on -one sessions um, and we just get help we get lots of feedback as well on our physical and also our cricket how our cricket's going we have experienced coaches um, we have SNCs we have psychologists we have uh, nutritionists we do workshops there's a variety of things that sort of combine into getting us to be better cricketers you get a chance to work with some of the best coaches across the country, not only career coaches, but uh, strength conditioning coaches, nutrition coaches, psychologists, um, and it just not only improves you as a cricketer, but improves you as an all-round person. It's there to help with problems that aren't cricket-based. It's uh, things, uh, if you've got things going on at home, or if you've got problems with your lectures, or they're there for more than just cricket, which I think is fantastic. You get one-to-one -one sessions with coach, whatever, whenever you want, whenever you are free, you get train, training in the power base. We have personal like trainers, we have trainers who help us uh, in the gym session as well as in the sprint sessions. Probably one of the best places to be. Um, I mean, it's such a great uh, team environment with all the different Bucks teams here. And um, the union's a great place, to, and the town, to be fair, is a great place to go after a hard day's training or um, yeah, just to let off some steam. We've got Stu said, like we're training so hard at the minute, it's actually quite nice to have the best facilities but also one of the best nightlifes as well, to balance it out. Tim Bennett, yeah, it's brilliant, yeah, obviously social so we're obviously a part of being a university team, not going to lie and say we don't react because obviously we do and enjoy ourselves. But it's, brilliant, but it, it's part of Jelly as a team as well, so it's top set of lads and you know, it's good to get on and we do everything together basically, so it's kind of a family environment. And basically because we're together every day almost, we get quite a team unit, um, Lots of socials, lots of nights out, but during training as well, we're quite a close bunch of guys and enjoy basically spending time with each other and training hard. The best thing about the MCC at Loughborough, I'd say, is obviously studying degree uh, alongside your cricket. You can sort of push your cricket onto the next level, being able to sort of push them both on any university with a degree and hopefully sort of have aspirations for a professional career, possibly after Loughborough? I think what it offers is um, a full-time cricket programme where talented athletes can pursue a professional cricket career um, and if that fails and they don't achieve, they hopefully leave with a, a very good degree from Loughborough Uni. So adjustable around your degree. When you're first run in the morning, is your gym, you have a group session, go to your lectures and then by the time you're back, you finish all the lectures, you have enough time to do your work, and then you can train in the evenings as well. My degree is mechanical engineering, it's quite tough, but I'm able to manage my time with it because of the program. It's uh, so nicely based that we can manage cricket as well as uh, with, uh, with our degree as well. It replicates being a um, first class cricketer because you're um, playing sort of well, in training five days a week with extra sort of seminars and lectures on nutrition and psychology and things like that. Um, it sort of gives you an idea of what first class cricket could be like for us. The structure we have here is very similar to a professional outfit. You've got your nutrition stuff, you've got your strength condition stuff, so it's all kind of related together. If you're playing first class cricket, which obviously most of the guys prior to coming here, one of 
one have achieved yet. So you get the opportunity to see this in many more counties than you potentially would playing sort of second team cricket. Well, I think the facts are that um, there's just under 20% of English registered players uh, have come from one of the six university centres of excellence. So one in five is a pretty good going. 